it, it amazed me that in Deuteronomy and Exodus, when it talks about honoring, it puts the father first. But when you go to Leviticus chapter 16, when it talks about reverence or looking at something as holy, it puts the mother first. When it talks about honoring, it says, honor your father and mother. But when it talks about reverence or looking at something holy, it says, your mother and your father. You know, when God made the Ten Commandments, he made five on one side, on one tablet, that would talk about our relationship with God. And then he made five more on another tablet, and he talked about our relationship with society, with the world, with people. And the bridge between honoring God and having a place in society, God put number one to honor our fathers and mothers. Ancient Jewish wisdom says that honoring your father and mother is the number one thing. As a matter of fact, it says God would rather you honor your father and mother than even worry about honoring him. That your mother and your father are the most important people in the world. Think about it. He doesn't say honor politicians. No offense. He doesn't say honor lawyers and doctors. He doesn't say honor pastors or preachers. He says honor your father and your mother.